brothers and sisters, it's such a delight to interact with you today. Thank you ever so much for joining us. This is Healing Streams, the place where God's word transforms lives and destinies. I pray that God will touch every area of your life. In Jesus' name, amen. Today's topic, upward and forward, upward and forward. With all the turbulence in the world, many people feel uncertain about the future. But there is a plan. Simply put, the Lord wants to move his children upward and forward. Proverbs 4 verse 18. The path of the righteous is like the morning sun, shining ever brighter till the full light of day. That's what God wants for you. A forward path that shines brighter and brighter. Forward is defined as onward so as to make progress towards a successful conclusion. Forward is defined as toward the future, ahead in time. God also wants you to move upward. Upward means moving toward a higher place, point or level. Proverbs 15 verse 24. The path of life leads upward for the wise to keep them from going down to the realm of the dead. That's what God wants for you. An upward pathway, an upward Trajectory. Synonyms, similar words to upward are lifting, rising, ascending, mounting. Upward and forward means positive movement, success in every direction, restoration, recovery, acceleration, speed. Who needs to move upward and forwards? The stagnated, the demoted, those who have fallen behind in any way those who have not yet inherited their promises, who needs to move upward and forward, everyone who desires it. Have you suffered demotion? Have you been through challenges? Psalm 34 verses 19 and 20. The righteous person faces many troubles, but the Lord comes to the rescue each time. For the Lord protects the bones of the righteous. Not one of them is broken. So don't stop believing. This time you will go upward and forward. It's time to rise to a new level. Proverbs 24 verse 16. For a righteous man may fall seven times and rise again. Despite the setback, despite the challenges, you will rise again. Upward and forward. Who does God move upward and forward? There are quite a few categories of people that God can move upward and forward. I'll only highlight a few. Number one, the humble, James 4 verse 10. Humble yourselves before the Lord and he will lift you up. God honors humility and exalts those who recognize their need for him. Who does God move upward and forward? Number two, the needy, 1 Samuel 2 verse 8. He raises the poor from the dust and lifts the needy from the ash heap. He seats them with princes and has them inherit a throne of honor. For the foundations of the earth are the Lord's. On them he has set the world. Who does God move upward and forward? Number three, those who follow his ways. Remember the scripture we started with, Proverbs 4 verse 18. The path of the righteous is like the morning sun, shining ever brighter till the full light of day. Let's back up to the earlier verses and we gain a lot of insight about following God's forward path. Proverbs 4 verse 10 to 18. Listen, my son, accept what I say and the years of your life will be many. I instruct you in the way of wisdom and lead you along straight paths. When you walk, your steps will not be hampered. When you run, you will not stumble. Hold on to instruction. Do not let it go. Guard it well, for it is your life. Do not set foot on the path of the wicked or walk in the way of evildoers. Avoid it. Do not travel on it. Turn from it and go on your way. For they cannot, that's the wicked now, they cannot rest until they do evil. They are robbed of sleep till they make someone stumble. They eat the bread of wickedness and drink the wine of violence. But, but, the path of the righteous is like the morning sun, shining ever brighter till the full light of day. God lifts up those who seek him, those who seek his wisdom because he is 
the source of all wisdom. God moves forward those who trust in his promises and those who follow his ways. Who does God move upward and forward? Number four, those who have suffered from enemy action. Yes, you heard me right, enemy action. Psalm 30 verse one, I will exalt you, Lord, for you have lifted me out of the depths and did not let my enemies gloat over me. Who does God move upward and forward? Number five, those who are bowed down. Psalm 145 verse 14, the Lord upholds all who fall and lifts up all who are bowed down. If you are bowed down, if you have fallen, the Lord will lift you up in Jesus' name. Upward and forward. God can move you to the rock. Psalm 40 verse 2. He lifted me out of the slimy pit, out of the mud and the mire. He set my feet on a rock and gave me a firm place to stand. Upward and forward, God can move you to a higher place. Psalm 61 verse 2. From the end of the earth, I will cry to you. When my heart is overwhelmed, lead me to the rock that is higher than I. Upward and forward, God can move you to high places. Habakkuk 3 verse 19. The Lord God is my strength and he will make my feet like hind's feet and he will make me to walk upon my high places. Upward and forward, God can move you to the mountain of his inheritance. Exodus 15 verse 17, you will bring them in and plant them in the mountain of your inheritance, in the place, O Lord, which you have made for your own dwelling, the sanctuary, O Lord, which your hands have established. May you inherit all the promises God has intended for you. In Jesus' name, amen. Upward and forward, God can move you to heavenly places in Christ Jesus, Ephesians 2 verse 6, and raised us up together and made us sit together in the heavenly places in Christ Jesus. To move upward and forward successfully, we must forget what is behind. Let go of past hurts, let go of bitterness, let go of discouragement, Isaiah 43 verse 18 and 19. Forget the former things, do not dwell on the past. See, I am doing a new thing. Now it springs up, do you not perceive it? I am making a way in the wilderness and streams in the wasteland, streams in the desert to move upward and forward successfully. Focus on the new, focus on the future. Back to chapter four in Proverbs, Proverbs 4, 25 and 26. Let your eyes look straight ahead. Fix your gaze directly before you. Give careful thoughts to the paths for your feet and be steadfast in all your ways. To move upward and forward successfully, follow God's guidance. Psalm 32 verse 8, I will instruct you and teach you in the way you should go. I will guide you with my eye. To move upwards and forwards successfully, it means limitations have been removed. Barriers have been removed, hindrances have been removed, obstacles have been removed. Psalm 97 verse 5, the mountains melt like wax before the Lord, before the Lord of all the earth. To move upward and forward successfully, crooked paths have been made straight. Isaiah 42 verse 16, I will bring the blind by a way they did not know. I will lead them in paths they have not known. I will make darkness light before them and crooked places straight. These things I will do for them and not forsake them. God will never forsake you in the name of Jesus. To move upward and forward successfully, strength has been granted, Isaiah 40 verse 31. But those who wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. May Almighty God grant you strength to mount up with wings as an eagle. You will rise, you will soar. In Jesus' name, amen. Today's topic, upward and forward. How would you feel if God moves you to heavenly places in Jesus Christ, where you can enjoy the fullness of his glory 
and sit above troublesome agents of the devil. Yes, when you accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, Ephesians 2 verse 6 is your new position. Ephesians 2 verse 4 to 6. But God who is rich in mercy, because of his great love with which he loved us, even when we were dead in trespasses, made us alive together with Christ. By grace you have been saved and raised us up together and made us sit together in the heavenly places in Christ Jesus. We gain more insight in Ephesians chapter 1 verse 19 to 21. And what is the exceeding greatness of his power towards us who believe according to the working of his mighty power, which he worked in Jesus Christ when he raised him from the dead and seated him at his right hand in the heavenly places, far above all principality and power and might and dominion and every name that is named, not only in this age, but also in that which is to come. Yes, God can move you to heavenly places in Christ Jesus, far above principalities, powers, far above every work of darkness. And God has made a way of access through Jesus Christ, his son. Jesus came to the earth. He died. He rose again. He resurrected so that you can live a successful life here on earth and have life everlasting, eternal life after you leave the earth. Please accept Jesus Christ today by saying this prayer with me. If you're a Christian who has strayed away from God, you can say this prayer also. The prayer is visible on the screen. Please let us pray. Almighty God, I confess that I have done things my own way. Going forward, I choose to do things your way. I accept your son, Jesus Christ, as my savior and as my Lord. Lord Jesus, please come into my life. If you said that prayer, you have joined or rejoined the family of God, or you have reaffirmed that you belong to God. Congratulations if you just joined God's family. To continue your Christian journey, please join a Bible-believing church. In addition, please send a message to the number on your screen, 0708-225-6051, stating, I gave my life to Christ. If you're outside Nigeria, please add the code, plus 234-708-225-6051. We'd like to help you navigate the next steps, upward and forward. I'd like us to take some prayer points together, and they're quite a number, so please follow on the screen. Yes, this time, they're really, really quite a number. And if the pace is too fast, please feel free to come back later to pray with further depth. Prayer point number one, we're going to take Psalm 61, verse 1 to 3 together as a prayer. So please look to your screen. Hear my cry, O God, attend to my prayer. From the ends of the earth, I will cry to you. When my heart is overwhelmed, lead me to the rock that is higher than I. For you have been a shelter for me, a strong tower from the enemy. Hallelujah. God is so faithful. Prayer point number two. Merciful Father, please forgive my past mistakes. Give me a humble heart. Let arrogance and pride depart from me. Let arrogance and pride be far from me. Grant me the grace to forget what is behind. Help me to let go of past hurts, bitterness and discouragement. Help me to get over past failures. In Jesus' name, amen. Prayer point number three. Omnipotent Father, propel me upward and forward. Help me to bounce back from every setback. Help me to recover from every stagnation. Help me to recover psychologically and emotionally. Help me to recover financially and materially. Give me the grace to embrace the new. In Jesus' name, amen. Prayer point number four. Almighty God, Please reposition me for greatness. Place me on your divine trajectory. Move me upward to unprecedented heights. 
move me forward into my glorious destiny. Let my path shine brighter and brighter each day. In Jesus' name, amen. Prayer point number five, Psalm 30 verse one. I will exalt you, Lord, for you have lifted me out of the depths and did not let my enemies gloat over me. Let us pray, O Lord, the lifter of my head. Thank you for not letting my enemies triumph over me. Thank you for lifting me out of shame and reproach. Abba Father, please grant me success in every direction. Let me move upward and forward in my career and business. Let me move upward and forward in every area of my life. In Jesus' name, amen. Prayer point number six, Exodus 15 verse 17. You will bring them in and plant them in the mountain of your inheritance, in the place, O Lord, which you have made for your own dwelling, the sanctuary, O Lord, which your hands have established. Let us pray, Jehovah Jireh, help me, help me to inherit the promises you have planned for me. Let me walk on my high places. Place me strategically on the mountain top of success. Place me strategically on the mountain top of success. Let the fullness of your glory manifest in my life. Let the fullness of your power manifest in my life. In Jesus' name, amen. Prayer point number seven, Psalm 75, verse six and seven. For exaltation comes neither from the east, nor from the west, nor from the south, but God is the judge. He puts down one and exalts another. Let us pray. The great judge of the universe, please look upon me with favor. Lift me up. Exalt me. Promote me. Move me to higher ground. Move me to the next level and beyond. In Jesus' name, amen. Prayer point number eight. Rock of ages, crush every Asian boundary against my upward and forward movement. Remove every limitation over my life and destiny. Remove every hindrance to my divine speed. Let every embargo of the enemy against my life be lifted. Melt every hindering mountain. Destroy every obstructing wall. Make every crooked path straight. Take the limits off, O oh Lord, so that I can fly. Let me soar like an eagle. In Jesus' name, amen. Prayer point number nine. My father, my father, please move me to the fast track. Let your hand be upon me for supernatural speed and acceleration. Let your hand be upon me for supernatural speed and acceleration. Let your hand be upon me for unusual access. Grant me the resources I need so I can move with high velocity. Move me with speed into my answers, into great opportunities. Move me with speed into new territories, into new ventures, into profitable contracts. Move me with speed into greater works for you. Accelerate me in destiny. Accelerate me in destiny. In Jesus' name, amen. Prayer point number 10 are your personal prayer requests. I'd like to agree with you in prayer. Matthew 18, 19 tells us that if any two persons shall agree in the name of Jesus, it shall be done by our Father. Please lift up your voices to Almighty God, the omnipotent, omnipresent, the only wise God. Ask God to visit you in special ways, to visit you in specific areas of your life where you want to see a change. Lift up your requests. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Heavenly Father, we thank you for your precious promises. We're thankful that when we pray, you answer us. I agree with all those listening to me right now that their prayers will become testimonies. And those testimonies begin right now. In the mighty name of Jesus, amen. Thanks for praying along with me. And as we pray further, please feel free to type amen in the chat box. By the mercies of God, 
your destiny will not be limited. From this moment onwards, you move, yes, you move from restriction to expansion, from demotion to elevation, from decrease to increase, from limitation to abundance in the name of Jesus. In that same precious name of Jesus, there will be no slowness in your destiny, no more delay. You recover lost ground. Your latter will be greater than your former. You are unstoppable. You are unblockable in the name of Jesus. Still in the precious name of Jesus, I pray you emerge, you advance. You will not rise and fall. You will rise and rise. You will shine brighter every single day of your life. Kings will come to the brightness of your rising. Your light will bring men and women to Jesus. Your trajectory will be spectacular. You rise into prosperity. You rise into good success. You rise into peace and joy. Your life's journey will be supernatural and spectacular. The fullness of God's glory will manifest in your life. In Jesus' name, amen, amen. Please join me next Saturday at 8 a.m. West African time for the next edition of Healing Streams. Please like this video and share it. Bless someone today. You might even win a soul. Don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel. You're watching TOD House of Favor or Healing Streams with Femi Piton. Kindly invite your friends and family to subscribe also. Click the bell icon so you'll be notified when Healing Streams is on air. Thanks to our Facebook family for joining us week after week. You can also follow Healing Streams with Femi Peter on Instagram. At Healing Streams with Femi Peter, you can view all the videos in one place. You can view back episodes without scrolling through months and months of material. It's been such a delight bringing Healing Streams to you today. And may the healing streams of peace, joy, mercy, and love flow towards you and your family. In Jesus' name, amen. Shalom.